Uh, welcome to the official IBU press conference after women's mass start and the last women's race of the season. With us, Hanna Oberg, first place, Tiri Lekov of Norway, second place, and first time with us, Claire Egan of USA. Hanna, congratulations. First World Cup win, first small globe. It get, it's getting better and better. It was a tight race, and you controlled it really from start to the finish. How did you go about it? Um, yeah, it was um, it was a great race for me. Uh, I felt uh, really confident on the prone shootings and um, uh, could be pretty fast there and uh, be first out. So I could um, also relax a little in the in the skiing. I think and I never had to go um, like and hunt. Um, so yeah, it was. I think it was perfect for me. And um, coming into the first standing shooting, I. Uh, I actually was a bit surprised that I, that I had a miss because it felt like a hit. But um, I had to go one penalty loop, but everyone else also, so I was still in front. And uh, then it was a really hard last shooting with uh, some wind. And um, yeah, with one mistake there, I still managed pretty well. So um, and um, yeah, then I had Teal hunting me in the in the in the last loop, but. Um, uh, when she didn't catch so many seconds on me on, in the beginning, then I felt pretty confident that I would be the first over the finish line. When you assess this season, where do you feel you improved the most as a biathlete in your quest for perfection and another perfection? Uh, yeah, I think uh, the thing that improved most was the, uh, my lo lowest level is now um, pretty high. I have not uh, so many competitions uh, where I'm not satisfied with my with my race, and um, yeah, I've been I've been really consistent, and that's what I'm mostly proud of. And we know uh, Wolfgang Pichler is retiring, and he's been a big factor uh, in shaping your career. He's also a big personality. So what do you take from him into your next stage of career? Uh, of course, he has been special for me. Um, and I, of course, I learned uh, a lot of hard work. And you can uh, do, uh, you can always do more than you think that you can. And um, yeah, uh, he really pushed us and learned us what, what it takes uh, to become one of the, the best in the world. And um, uh, that this is things that I will for sure uh, take with me in the future. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Tiril, congratulations. You've had a very dramatic last loop. Uh, with Claire, uh, did you deliberately let Claire attack first? Um, actually, I was very tired <laughs> because uh, 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 I, I was uh, finished, and uh, but then I know I it's a long last loop here in Holmkoln, and I'm pretty good on the last last kilometers. So. Um, and I'm pretty good on the downhill skiing. So uh, I, and I had some amazing skis compared to Claire. So uh, I uh, I took some meters there. Uh, you mentioned yourself uh, that this track suits you well. What is it that it fits your style good? You want twice here. Uh, I train here almost every day in the summer, so I know every curve mm -hmm. very well <laughs> compared to the others. I think so. Mm -hmm. That's an uh, advantage. And how do you assess your season now you can draw the line? Uh, it's been a really bad season, but uh, I, I come in the end uh, like always. And that's, I'm, I'm really proud of that. So, yeah. The whole championship was good. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And home call was good, so I will take that with me. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. Claire, yeah. um, just a year ago we talked. You said you were thinking to go waitering today. It's what happened in between. You're another biathlete. I decided that I wanted to do one more year just for fun, just to see how much I could learn and how good a biathlete I could become. And I had the assistance of my new coach, Armin. Um, and I had a lot of fun, and I became a great biathlete. And where do you, if you, uh, <laughs> speak uh, only of technical improvements. Where do you think you've done the most in your improvement? I s skied much faster this year than I have in the past, and I think that was due to finally finding a good balance in my training between 
uh, working hard and resting. So I didn't, I did not train more, but the quality was much higher. And you won this season much more points than all previous seasons together. How does this change your outlook on the next seasons? <laughs> I'm very excited for the next season. Thank you. Congratulations. More questions? Thank you.